Welcome back to Raid Shadow Legends. We are going over Sorath the Frostbiter, said to be one of the easiest bosses in the game. That's what everybody on hard is saying about this spider, though they are using Lydia to block revive at the end. Most people aren't going in there with a lot of burns like they should be doing to stop it from coming back. So I'm going to explain to you everything that the spider needs, and then we'll go in to face the spider and you'll see. Over this graph here, you see that the spider, without an HP burn on, gets additional resistance. Now if we go down to a higher spider, 225 additional resistance. So you might be going into the spider here thinking you're going to land your debuffs, your debuffs aren't landing, you're getting resisted. It is because if you do not have an HP burn on the spider, they get a significant amount of additional resistance and defense. So you need to make sure you have that HP burn and you need an HP burn on the spider when you land that killing blow. You can block revive on the spider. So if you have somebody that can do a block revive, if they get the killing blow, it will stop the spider from coming back as well. Because if you don't have the HP burn up, if you don't block revive, it will come back to life every single time with the two spiderlings with it. So you got to make sure you have that. Now, everything this spider does can be resisted. So high resistance is very good for the stage. If you don't have high resistance on everybody, at least have high resistance on somebody that can remove the debuffs. So if everybody else got frozen and my reliquary tinder had really high resistance, get resistive, and then she would remove it from everybody else with her ability. It's on a three turn cooldown. The spider boss's move is on a three turn cooldown. You can also block debuffs. So if you have a block debuff buff, you could put that on like we do here with seducer and we could block those as well. Other than that, AOE is very good to have in here. There's nothing wrong with AOE and turn meter reduction. Turn meter reduction on the spider or the two spiderlings on the side will not hurt you in any way. They will not attack you back. There's no negative effect to it. And you can drop turn meter very easily on the spider boss. Let's hit play and see what we've got. Those are really the main things, right? You want, if you can't, if you don't have a Lydia to just block it and kill it right out, you still kind of want, right? We have Ignatius that has an irresistible burn. So that would be a good play. I'm not, I can't remember the cooldown on it, but you can do that. Also, the spiderlings. The two spiderlings don't attack you. All they do is remove debuffs from the big spider. So you got to be careful because even if you have an HP burn up on this big boss here, right before you get, give the killing blow, they might take a turn. And when they take a turn, they take away all debuffs on the spider boss. But I tested it out. And as long as you have them CC'd, if you have them stunned, frozen, slept, anything like that, I thought it might be a passive. So regardless if they were slept, stunned, anything they would just take their turn and they would still wipe the big spider but it's not true i had them both stunned just like this one on the far right and when they took their turns the debuff stayed up which we're actually going to get to see i think if this one is faster i'm not sure if it's faster or not let's check it really quick let's have it go forward here decrease attack of course is always good to have on any boss but since we can lower the turn meter on this boss if you come in here with allure if you come in here with cold heart if you come in here with any kind of turn meter reduction and slow speed i think you'll be fine against this boss and a lot of people said that it was very easy because these side spiders aren't even attacking you at all. Let's see if we can clear this debuff. And you're going to see what I'm talking about as far as being resisting everything. Because right now, we don't need high resistance on this first time around. We're very low in the tower. We are on normal. We're not on hard. But it's good that we're on normal because we get to see about... It's not, it's about the encounter. It's about the mechanics. Who cares what we're on right now? This gives us a longer play time. And this makes it, this mocks... Like if we were fighting the spider on a much higher stage and I geared up all my people with 300, 400 resistance. That's what this looks like. Okay, let's see. We're going to get a hit here. So the spider comes. That move right there was going to freeze all of us at 100% chance. And she would have gotten turn meter here, 20% for each freeze debuff. And that was it. The attack wasn't very hard. Obviously, if we are on hard at the very end stage, I'm going to have much stronger champions, higher defense, higher resistance, higher HP. So if we just mimic that, if we say we're fighting this spider on hard and I'm matching its accuracy to resistance and we just resisted everything, that's what we would bring in. And don't forget, there are accuracy leads. There are resistance leads. We can use those. We want to come in here with Drekstar Blood Twin, which has an accuracy lead and can burn on its passive that you can get from Three's Arena. You could do that as well. 100 days of getting that as long as you have enough bars, you can bring in Drekstar to do this. It'll help you out through the waves and help you when you get to the spider, though you do have to be hit. But you can take out the spiderlings on the side. You can sit here and CC them like I've done. Let's go. So AOE still works really well here. Slow speeds all around. It did. The right spiderling took a turn and these debuffs were not removed. So you can crowd control them. Bring in your style, the drakes. Get those AOE stuns up. Get that HP burn up. You got to have that HP burn. Here's turn meter reduction. We're going to drop turn meter down. So no issues. Now, again, if we didn't have high resistance, we would come in here with only high resistance on Reliquary Tinder. That way, at that time, when the spider did this move, 
These would have been frozen, but then she would have resisted it and removed it from everybody else. And then now we've got HP burn. So this HP burn person, since there is no HP burn up right now, this spider has increased resistance and increased defense. Really high increased resistance. So we need this person here, whoever is our burn person, to have really high accuracy. Whatever is needed for the encounter to bring it down. And these people can be a few hundred lower than that. So say we've got 200 on everybody else and we might need 300 or 400 on our bulwark if we were on hard stage floor 100. So we might need really high accuracy on our burn person. So we're going to put the burn up. Now the defense is going to lower on the spider. We can kill it with a killing blow and it will stay dead. And the rest of our people don't have to have really high accuracy because now the resistance is down much, much lower. And it's going to depend on when we fight the boss, how much resistance it has, how high up we are. But all in all, it doesn't, I mean, that's it really. So we can block, we can block the spider from doing these other moves, right? Right here, the spider places a block buffs, debuff, and a heal reduction if there's a freeze on us. Places a 30% decrease speed debuff and decrease attack debuff for two turns on enemies that have no freeze. But we can resist all of that. We can resist this, which you just saw, so we didn't get frozen. And then over here, this just talks about the freeze. Whenever we attack them, we can be frozen. We can resist that as well. So you want to come in here with a decent amount of resistance, I feel like, so that you don't have to worry about any of this, unless you can always keep up block debuffs. Seducer has it for two turns on a four-turn cooldown. Isn't really going to keep it up the whole entire time, but still, it could work for you. And then we have also a cleanser here and our reliquary tender to clear it all. And then the A1 just attacks and puts decreased accuracy. But you definitely do not want decreased accuracy because if you get that on somebody like your burn person where you're trying to get that burn up so everybody else can get their debuffs up because he's got much higher accuracy because he needs it. He's going to be the first one to get their move up lower for everybody else. You definitely don't want this A1. This decreased accuracy will not be good for you. Now putting decreased accuracy on this boss is a very good thing to do. No matter what its accuracy is going to be at later on, if you can do a decreased accuracy of 50%, it's going to help you out a lot. You don't have to have as much resistance then. So apply that decreased accuracy, come in with resistance, come in with your removal if you need it later on, and it's easy. I mean, the spider, and then if you got an AoE stun bellower, bring your AoE stun bellower in here, and I don't see any issues with this one. We're going to go ahead and act like we removed it, get our regen up. And then when I was on stream, I had somebody tell me, well, it's only because it's not hard yet. It doesn't matter if it's hard. What matters if you have the gear or not, right? If you're an in-game player and you have the gear, that's what really matters. Because we can take this scenario here and we can tell, we can say this spider is going to hit me 100 times harder. Well, obviously this reliquary tender still has no chest piece, gloves, neck, or ring on her. If you saw from my last video, so obviously I'm not going to be bringing in this crew. I'd be bringing in my my legendaries and my epics that are really suited for this. They'd have really good gear. They'd have high high resistance, <laughs> accuracy, defense, and HP to play this exactly how they're playing it right now. So no, I do not agree. I do not agree that this boss will be harder for me because of the gear I have and the champions I have at in game. But I'm glad, I am very happy that this spider is reasonable and almost pretty easy to beat for the average player that's been playing this game. Because I want people to be able to get through normal. I want them to get as high as possible through normal so they have something fun to do every month they can get all these juicy rewards every month and then they'll be excited for when it resets and they can do it all over again. I want you to have a feeling of progression going through this game. Now, if you're a brand new player and you just started playing the game, obviously you're not gonna jump into this just like you're not gonna jump into Faction Wars. You can do stage one or two, you know, you can get somewhere in it, but don't expect to go up to these bosses and be fighting these bosses. I'm talking about people who have been around the block, who have 60s, who have masteries, who have a little bit of diversity and their roster, it can bring in some of these champions because a lot of people might not have an HP burn. But if you do have a block revive, bring that in then and try to get that killing blow. It might be a little harder because it's going to be irritating. But she does come back to life with 50% HP. I'm pretty sure we just, I think we just got a void shard here for this one. So that was nice if it's the same every month. And then we get this energy. It seems like every, every day we've been getting 75 energy going through here. We've got a swift... We've got a speed glyph here. I wonder what, if that's like a five star or a six star. I doubt it's a six star. Maybe there's a six star over on hard. And then we've got an epic book here. So I really hope everybody can get up to the two epic books every month. That would be really good. How about that far? Two, floor 100. If the average player can get up to floor 100 and then start working on their roster and gear to get up higher, that would be amazing. And, and if they get up to 120, that's two void shards a month, all that energy. I like this. I'm having a lot of fun. Again, please let me know how your experience has been with the spider down below. I appreciate you all for watching. I will see you all on a video soon.